This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's tutorial we are going to learn one power query function that is table.addRank. What does table.addRank does? It adds a rank column. So we will try to see how can we add a rank column in power query. So table.add column is table.addRank column. Table is the first argument. New column name is the second argument which is a text which is just a name comparison criteria and optional options nullable records and it going to return a table appends a column name named new column name so that will be appended to the table with the ranking of one or more than more uh, the other columns described in comparison criteria the rank kind option in the options can be used by the advanced user to pick up more specific method so let's look at what example we have so we have here basically table dot add rank column and we have table add from records and what you can see there is a table which has been given here now in that table this rank will be sorted and the options which we are using here is basically this is descending and then this is basically the different kind of kinds and we need to understand what that kind means when we are going to take up some example so rank so we got a um, no column name next is a list in the list we are providing the column name and the order of the column name the next one which is basically the kind basically the type of sorting which we will explain you while doing this example so let's go to the power bi and in power bi we need to go to power query to take up this example so for that go to the home tab of power bi in that go to transform data transform data to reach power query once we reach power query we need a blank query to execute these things for that we are going to go to a new source and in the home tab and press blank query once we get the blank query we can double click on that and rename so let me call it as rank you can do the same thing using the right click also now let's open this right click or advanced editor or in the home tab we also have an option to go there now what we are going to do is we are going to go to the example which we got there and we'll first try to execute that example we'll try to understand few features and then apply the same with one of our tables which we have so we go here we copy this code inside the source so let source contain the table and we return the source so what it is hap what's happening here this is basically our table which we are giving to the add rank columns so this is the table which is created from record we can have any other table which we have or we can reference a table which we is already present with us or it could be the table in the last step so basically what i can do here is instead of taking this table uh, table from records here i could actually move it to a different step and can use it so i can say here table underscore table let's say equals to this table from records and then give comma and then i can refer this table here so now the table has been created in the last step in the next step i'm doing the add rank column i'm giving a table then i'm giving the rank column name then the column on which the rank need to be done here we need ascending and then we are saying do a competition kind of a rank let's press done and try to understand that now we got a table which is already sorted on the rank you can see the 200 200 coming on the top after that 150 is coming let's look at the underscore table the previous step how the table was actually there so the, actually the table was there 200 100 250 but the new table which you are getting is also sorted based on the rank what you have done so what the rank we have done we have said that the revenue should be in descending and it should be in the competition way of ranking now what is this competition way of ranking in this ranking if the rank one you can see is repeating twice then there is no rank 
two there is directly a rank three so there are two persons on rank one then directly there is three in dex rank those who are aware of the dex rank we call it skip ranking so in this one we are going to skip if the same rank is going to repeat so if there are 10 people on rank one we are going to skip rank one to ten and we will give directly rank 11 after one so that's the same thing which has been applied here now let's change this and see what all options we have so we remove it till dot and after that we press and see we also have an option for dense rank now how does dense rank perform so in the dense rank we have one one two and three so in case of dense rank what happens is you may have more than one winners on a particular rank so you have one and one then after that you are not going to have three you are still going to have the next rank which is two and three so there are more than one number which can be there on the same rank but the next would be the next rank only so the rank is always continuous like one two three four there will not be jump but there could be multiple rows or the lines or the member can be there on the same rank now what is the third type of the rank the third type of the rank also let's try out let's remove it till dot and then we'll try ordinal rank this is something which you might not find in DAX, but this is a continuous unique number given based on the rank of the revenue if there are more than one the tight breaker has been applied and the second rank has been given to the the next number so this is how it happens now we have seen this you know different options now we have seen this on you know happening on this one now can we do it what are the options for order so we have ascending and descending let's try ascending also now in case of ascending you can see the table is now sorted from 50 100 200 and 200 so this is how you get the ascending one now let's look how can we reference a table which is already existing and create a new one so in this case what we are trying to do is we want to take this code this table not the code of the table we have already seen how to do it with the code of the table now can i do the ranking on column a and column b of the text type and can we do that but before we do this on this one text i would like to try here itself so here what i would like here uh, in the first step i want to have bob as twice so i'll in the third record i'll also put bob and i would like to sort it on name and want to see what happens so i go to the next step source so in the first step i change the data and the second step i go and say that okay on the i want the rank rank on the name and as you can see bob is appearing now twice because bob is a sorted name and it actually the way i have done is i done it on first and third record and first and third record is containing 200 so let me do one thing let me make um, this let me make this is some other name And let me make the last one as Bob and let's see what happens as you can see we we have the names we still have the rank based on the revenue or we have the name uh, rank based on the name Bob Bob Gap and Jim one two three and four ordinal rank we don't want let's take the uh, dance rank here Now we got the dance rank 1, 1, 2 and 3. So in this manner we can rank the text. Now let's go back, go ahead and take the new code. Uh, new uh, Once again we need a new qu query to take a table as a reference and try it out. So we got a uh, new query from the home tab using the blank one. Let's call it as rank 1, double click, rename and then advanced editor. And in the advanced editor we will say table dot add rank column we will call the table table 2 and you can see it's automatically when i select the table 2 and pressed it whenever the table has a space we have to say hash and in double quotes we have to see give the table name the next is the rank column name i can give any name i can say rank call the third option was the list in the list we have to give two things one is basically the column name which we wanted to sort so let me sort it on a column and the rank uh, 
we have to do order descending ascending so let's look what we have to give order so we need to give order ascending and the next is a record basically so we need to give a record and let's copy this record as of now and let's try to see what happens there so we can see here the ranking has been done on the column one which is one two three four already it has been done like that instead of ascending let's do it descending so it should change the order in the descending order now you can see four three two and one it has been sorted like that so in this manner you can add a rank column so you were doing that in DAX you were adding the rank column in the DAX now you can do it in Power Query also so go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you